Hello and welcome to the NHL Best Bets. First of May is a big uh, party of um, springtime starting in Finland and uh, we will celebrate it with a few good picks tonight. But uh, let's go first through the yesterday games. There were four games and uh, we had a picks for two. First, um, Winnipeg um, in Montreal. Winnipeg was uh, leading the game comfortably. 3-1, but then let off a little bit gas and Montreal came back and the past uh, flying marks winning by two goals. 5-3 uh, was the final result and um, red for our peak. Then uh, other game, Kings Anaheim, quite a bit like we predicted. Uh, low scoring tight game between these two Los Angeles teams and uh, um, they were playing only for pride, basically, and um, Jonathan Quick was very good goaltending, provided good goaltending in um, King's goal and um, end result 2-1 two, two for the Kings and um, clearly under. Tommy, any comments um, on these games? Yeah, let's start from the California one. It was like like we predicted, very low scoring. Uh, the goaltenders and the defense were better for both teams than their offensive prowess. So it was a clear under, no no worries there. Uh, Anaheim did shoot um, almost uh, or more than 30 times, actually. So it was Jonathan Quick who, uh, who played a good game and saved the pick for us. But um, honestly saying there was not that many goal scoring chances for either of these teams. So it was a pretty justified result and a good Good value under there. Um, the other game in the north, uh, Montreal, Winnipeg. Winnipeg led by two goals. Again, they were now able to score more than one like they have in the past couple of games. So got something going for them. Of course, it was Trevor Lewis from the fourth line who scored two goals. So not always a good sign when the um, only only uh, players scoring are your bottom line players. So something's wrong with uh, Winnipeg at the moment. Montreal played really well defensively. They kept Winnipeg out of their scoring chances uh, and managed to then pull even in the second period. And then in the third one, added a little bit of, uh, of gas and uh, got five to three victory. So very good win for Montreal. Very disappointing loss for us and Winnipeg Jets. Uh, seventh in a row now heading to the playoffs. Maybe there is still a chance that Calgary will kick them out, but very slight so so um winnipeg needs to do something better maybe go back to basics we saw calgary flames do that didn't really work for them at first but now they are uh, getting a little bit better so maybe winnipeg needs to do something like this because it looks very bad at the moment they're not able to score and their defense is leaking goals all the time so uh, very bad situation for the jets let's hope that they can turn it around because the simulations seem to favor them still to go to the playoffs yeah, it might be easy bite for the first uh, first line in Edmonton uh, if they are facing Winnipeg. So Edmonton for sure will will score the four, five, maybe six goals, and um, Winnipeg cannot match with current form at all. Yeah, not definitely not. They are they are lacking a lot of offense now. I don't know what's happened to Blake Wheeler, uh, Mark Seifel. All of these uh, top players have been underperforming heavily in the past couple of games. So they need to pick it up, and they are the leaders of this team. So they need to do a lot better. How about how we did overall last night in these four games? Um, man was a bit bit shaky, with a bit minus. But how about machine? Well, of course, we picked the only game that did not go as planned, uh, Winnipeg winning. Uh, so uh, the machine did predict uh, Colorado to beat uh, San Jose, as was expected. Very lousy odds, but plus 31 from there. Same thing with the Kings beating Anaheim, plus 72. But the surprise of the night, of course, was finally Vegas losing. Uh, we've been predicting against them quite a long time, but now they did lose, so we made already uh, instant profit of plus 191 from that game. So uh, sometimes it pays off to constantly keep betting against a better team because these heavy odds are always uh, always good. Overall, plus 194 from the side value, so that one minus 100 pick was, uh, was a bad one. But otherwise, a good result from the system again. Also, in the over-unders, we had three picks, two of them correct, so uh, no problem there. Sounds good. Um, and tonight, um, there is, I think... 
basically every team is playing. Uh, there is so many games that uh, it's uh, difficult to even calculate how many there are. But I think 15 games or so we played um, tonight. And uh, we'll start with the uh, picks. Um, we have um, here Dallas uh, goes to Nashville. Um, this is uh, what we call four-point game. Um, these teams have maybe the biggest fight right now in all league uh, for the fourth uh, playoff spot in the central division. And uh, um, whoever wins this game get a clear upper hand um, for the uh, position. Right now, Nashville is fourth. Um, Dallas is two points behind, but one game in hand. So by winning this one, Dallas will uh, equalize the points and uh, then uh, have the one game in hand to pass Nashville. Um, we expect very, very tight game. Um, both teams uh, have good goaltending. They have been playing pretty well recently. Dallas beat uh, up and down, but when they are good, they can win any team. When they are not so good, they can lose to Detroit. But um, with good uh, plus 106 odds, um, we take uh, Dallas here. And then second game, uh, Montreal plays um, back-to-back game at home, now against Ottawa. Uh, both teams, uh, when they have been winning, they have been able to um, shut down the opponent uh, with good defense. Uh, and uh, surprisingly high odds, uh, plus 118, with very high probability for under 5.5 goals from the simulation, is uh, the reason why we picked um, Ottawa against Montreal under five and a half goals here. Yeah, really good odds both of these games. Of course, we have all but one team playing tonight, so a heavy, a heavy load of games. But these were the best value we found. Um, let's go first to the North. Montreal again. Uh, we played last night against them. They beat Jets. A good game from them. But what we saw in that game was that they played concentrating on their defense as they do have to do in order to win the game. So I think now back to back, maybe a little tired legs there for Montreal. Ottawa, definitely worse team than Winnipeg is. Uh, they are also trying to play through the defense. Their goaltending has picked up as of late. So no more uh, that big issues that they had early in the season. So I think this is going to be a low-scoring game. Neither of these teams have any heavy offensive players that would be uh, the likes of Connor McDavid or Dreisaitl. So I do think that Montreal is a lot better team. They have something to play for. They're still chasing their playoff. Uh, or Calgary is still chasing them for the playoff. So they do need the points. But they will first and foremost be tied in the defense and help their goaltender in case it is young guy Caden Primo starting for them uh, after Jake Allen started last night. So I think this is a very, very good value for the uh, for the under uh, simulation, 73 percent under 5.5 goals. Uh, so a very, uh, very good value. We were expecting a lot worse odds for this maybe in the negatives, but this was a, a very good pick. And then the other game the most exciting partnership at the moment in the NHL, Nashville and Dallas. Uh, playoff implications, both teams need the win. It's going to be a tough battle, but Dallas at the moment, they lost two games in a row. Uh, they do need to bounce back in order to keep fighting for this. This is a game that they do have to win. And we've seen that they are capable of beating any team. They played really well against Tampa, even if they lost 3 nothing. Uh, Nashville, on the other hand, had their last game against Florida, a heavy scoring thing where Florida ran away, scored seven goals. Uh, that can't happen against Dallas or Dallas will win. So this will be a close one. But with these odds that we get for uh, for Dallas, even on the road, it's a no brainer. So let's go for uh, for the stars in simulations, 57 percent for the uh, road victory here. So great, great value for us. Um, like I said, there are so many games that uh, we don't have uh, time to go through all of them. But uh, some of these picks that we've done uh, during the last few days uh, can be found again from these back-to-back-to-back -back -back games. Uh, uh, St. Louis continues uh, their series in Minnesota or in St. Paul. And um, there is a clear value for, for a road team, even though Minnesota is uh, uh, predicted to win this game by 51 and a with 51 percent so do you think um, st louis will take uh, third in a row and uh, solidify the position in playoff race against um, arizona 
Yeah, if this would be a separate game, not a part of this three-game or four-game series, I would say that San Luis has a better chance to win. But now, when Minnesota has already lost two very, very close games, I think that they might have the upper hand. Like the simulations say that they are more likely to win, but the odds, of course, are indicating value for San Luis, even if they are underdogs uh, with that 49%, while the odds indicate somewhere around 43%. So I think it's going to be a coin flip exactly like the last two games. There is no, not really anything that has changed. So I do think that it's going to be a very close one, but maybe Minnesota will win one of these three games uh, before they continue on. But I wouldn't count out San Luis because they did have the willingness, the motivation, the drive to win these last two games. So uh, it's a tough matchup and uh, probably a very entertaining game as well. Yeah, then other road team that has uh, quite a bit of value is Pittsburgh playing in Washington. Uh, um, Washington is favored by the bookmakers, clearly, but our simulations are against these um, numbers. Uh, what do you think why uh, bookmakers feel that uh, Washington is a clear favorite and uh, simulations are thinking other way around? That's a good question, actually. I wouldn't exactly be with the simulations here, but Penguins have been more efficient as of late. Uh, a lot of things are, of course, expected from this team. They are always contender for the Stanley Cup, as are the Capitals. Maybe Capitals have had a little bit more issues going up and down. They've lost easy games here and there. Uh, last time these two met was a heavy scoring game, which is expected again, 68% uh, of the simulations going over. So it could be that Penguins, if they have all of their uh, forwards now healthy, Malkin is back on ice, uh, might be that they have a little bit better depth offensively in their team, while Washington does definitely have a, have a better defense and maybe the bottom six of uh, Capitals is better. But uh, I think the simulations do uh, favor the team that has a little bit heavier offense at the moment. So that's why Penguins are 55% favorites in our papers. Uh, it's not a bad pick to make. It's a good team. I think this is, again, very much of a coin flip of a game. It doesn't much matter if they play in Washington or in Pittsburgh. These two teams are very evenly matched all over the ice. Like you said, yesterday we had um, Arizona. Arizona had good value against Vegas, and uh, they broke the Vegas 10-game winning streak. Um, now these teams are playing back-to-back -back game again. Uh, Vegas is favorite in simulations, but uh, value stands again very much in Arizona's corner. Um, do you think it would be second in a row for the Coyotes? Who knows? They played really well yesterday and it was a little bit worrying for Vegas. Of course, they won so much that it, it's only natural that they were going to lose at some point. But it was the implications of like we've seen last season a couple of times this season as well. They couldn't get enough shots on goal and they couldn't score. So this was what the simulations have been waiting for them to do, is to not be as efficient in their scoring chances. Now they were not. Aiden Hill got a got a shot out there. Uh, now probably going to be Darcy Kemper, a little bit better goaltender for Arizona. So why not win another time against Vegas and show that, OK, we are here for real, even if they're not making the playoffs. But I do think it's going to be a close, close, close battle. Vegas will be playing with a chip on their shoulder and they will add a couple of uh, couple of notches to their uh, pace and speed. So I do think that it's going to be a hard game for Coyotes. But like uh, simulation show, 45 percent, uh, sorry, 45.8 percent going still for the Coyotes. So there is nice value because the odds are 36.7 percent. So if you uh, if you are a believer, go for the Coyotes. And if you want to check some uh, historical stats uh, from back-to-back -back performance of these teams, uh, uh, while Arizona at home has won uh, over 46% of the games during the last three seasons, uh, their home back-to-back -back win percentage is barely over 18. And at the same time, Vegas uh, has won 50% of their road games, but back-to-back uh, -back away game percentage is 53.3. Um, so. Uh, based on these numbers, um, if history repeats itself, um, Vegas would take this back-to-back -back game comfortably. Yeah, I would prefer to make the uh, the bet on the totals here. I'd say it's going to be under because uh, Vegas 
like we've seen now, not necessarily as proficient in, in scoring against Arizona. Arizona knows how to play defense against the Vegas team, so it could be that while Vegas is a better team, they might not score uh, five to seven goals like they usually do. Now in the simulations, they score three goals, um, and the Arizona Coyotes score two and a half, so it is about 5.5, uh, but you get better odds for it, 53.8% of the simulations going under 5.5 goals. So if you get better odds than, let's say, plus 110, go for it for sure. Let's see how these back-to-back -back games perform and, and will be played um, tonight. Uh, there is a um, heavy slate of games, so we try to watch those and um, be back tomorrow. Yeah, we need a lot of screens. <laughs> <laughs>